not doctors. Yep. Nothing we're about to say is recommendations. These are our opinions, and you should take everything we're about to say with a grain of salt. If you're thinking about taking supplements of whatever kind, consult your doctor first. Yep. We are engineers. We can fix things. We which are not humans. We <laughs> fix airplanes, <laughs> boats, cars, trucks, bridges, stuff like that. Not humans. So everything from here on, listen, take notes of everything. Just don't kill yourself. I've been getting a lot of questions about SARM. So I have a list of questions written down on my phone and I'm gonna go through that with my buddy, the physique engineer over here and we're gonna answer all those. So let's go. Question one, what are SARMs? SARMs basically are selective androgen receptor modulators. Uh, they're developed to have the benefits of some exogenous hormones without all of the bad side effects associated with taking steroids. They bind to the androgen receptor in your body and are meant to exhibit steroid-like effects. So, increased muscularity with decrease in body fat. Okay, that answers what are SARM and how do they work. What are the, some common SARMs? Some common SARMs you find on, on the market are Osterine, LGD4033, RAD140, S4, LGD3303, that's a different one developed by the same company. Uh, there are some, some supplements that are lumped into the SARMs category but aren't really SARMs like MK677, you'll, you'll see a lot of the times so that it's an oral ghrelin secretagogue which is meant to increase your endogenous growth hormone production which According to PubMed and a lot of studies, it actually does a good job of that. And then GW15 or 50, 15, 16, which is cartering, which is basically an exercise mimetic. It turns in, it turns on uh, AMP kinase within your body, which basically tells all of the cells within your body that you're doing cardio all day without moving. Solid. So now one of the questions that I get a lot is, do they have side effects? Because technically they were meant to have no side effects and still give you a result like steroids. So what's your take on that? So the side effects associated with SARMs in the studies done in trials um, are very minor. But the thing is, those trials used minuscule dosages, like Ostring used two milligrams for all the trials, and LGD used about the same. So if you're taking minute amounts, you're not going to get all the unwanted side effects, but all these companies sell supplements with just outrageous do dosages. So you see guys taking like 30 milligrams a day or 50 milligrams a day, crazy amounts, which the more you take, just the more side effects you're going to get. So if you take small amounts, sure, you won't experience all the bad side effects, but who is really taking the small amounts? It's very uncommon to see people taking that much. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna talk a bit about my experience with them. I ran uh, Austrian twice by two different companies. The first one I ran was Austrian by Kratos Labs, which was 30 mg of cap. I suppose or it was 15 mg of cap, and I was taking two caps a day. And then I, the other one I ran was a uh, 20 mix by Enhanced Athlete. I felt like the Enhanced Athlete was better because I felt harder to be honest. But while I was on uh, Sam's by Enhanced Athlete, I actually got blood work done because I felt like shit basically. And I also saw my blood work up on the screen. As you see, my testosterone level was at 78 NGTL, which is super close to shutdown. Which basically is what happens when you take a whole bunch of steroids and they get off and your natural T starts to shut down. So what's your take on that? Why did that happen? These SARMs are, they're hormonal. They affect your natural production of, of hormones. They are suppressive, which means your natural endocrine system will be suppressed because you're giving your body exogenous, an outside source of hormones. So your body's like, oh, well, we're getting an outside True. source. We don't need to make our own. They do suppress you. And if you take it long enough, you will be shut down Almost entirely. Yeah, I was, I was close to that. I was like 78 NGTL, so that's almost done. 
But uh, one more thing I observed with Sans was uh, while I was on it, I was basically cutting for the entire time. I did bulk for a while, but to be honest, the gains were not as promised. Like they were like, oh, you're gonna get 10 pounds of muscle or something. My diet was on point. Like I used to eat basically bro food, chicken and rice, three times a day and my macros were on point. I barely used to have cheat days. I did like kind of lean down a bit. It's probably because of like eating all clean all the time. But once I got off, I did a mild PCT, but I felt like I didn't gain anything. It was not worth it. That's how I put it. When you're on these SARMs supplements, the promise by these companies is you'll gain exorbitant amounts of muscle yeah, and strength sure. and lose all kinds of body fat, which when you start taking them, you will see some strength go up because you're taking hormones, so yeah. you're you're gonna get stronger. You'll get a little bit more muscle. Mm -hmm. You might lose some fat if you're cutting, but when you come off this stuff, your natural production is gonna be so hampered that you're not gonna have the ability to retain any of the muscularity that you gained. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. your body's gonna go right back to the homeostasis it was at before, and you're gonna lose everything you worked hard to get. Yeah. Okay. Now the question again is, uh, how much do they cost? Well, uh, now that we have heard a lot, like the pros, the cons. Well, we definitely went through the cons a lot, so you probably are not thinking about taking it. But if you still are, they are really expensive. So a 12 week cycle would cost around. If you're doing just Austrian, it's gonna cost around what 90? Like uh, 100. The 100 is like a while. Like Greatest Lab sells it for like 60 for probably like 30 days. So you probably need to run for what 12 weeks, I would say, because I ran it for 12. So 12 weeks will be like close to 200 dollars because you also need to well not a lot of people get side effects but you taking a ai while on the cycle is definitely yeah. advised, right yeah and uh, so it's like really expensive definitely how much do you, do you think that like prices compared to like pro hormones or steroids like how do they compare to all of them sarms are, are marketed as a wonder drug so if you market something as pure muscle building not gonna affect your hormones you're gonna lose body fat you don't, to, you don't have to worry about any of the side effects of steroids. You can sell this thing for incredible amounts of money and people who are just looking for a quick fix will spend it. They're very expensive. Like Ronick was saying, they can cost between $100 and $200 for just one. And most people don't run just one at a yeah, time. Yeah, You'll yeah. run three different ones all in conjunction with each other, which I didn't mention earlier, the more you run together, the more synergistic the side effects become. Yep. So you get all kinds of bad stuff yep. happening. Yep. And if you're gonna run things with it, like a liver support, because these are oral compounds, yep. which means your liver has to deal with it, that's harsh on your internal organs. So you should run something to keep your health a little bit up. And then you're gonna have to run some sort of AI because when you're taking large amounts, they're going to aromatize to some degree. And if you start getting gynecomastia or like estrogen symptoms, and you don't have that on hand, you can really get yourself into deep bad stuff. So, I mean, you can get into deep trouble for a friend. Yeah, so yeah. it's really, really, it's pricey. And when it comes to pro hormones, it's the same way. Yeah. People sell like, you know, mass builder 5,000, you know, <laughs> just take this pill and you'll gain 30 pounds. Well, they're very expensive. You can buy like 60 pills for $100 and you're not gonna just take one or, you know, one. You're gonna take three at the, at the same time. Then you have to buy something for afterwards when you're done. So you can spend a quite a large amount of money on these things. So like a cycle will cost you like 400 if you like think logically about taking three compounds and then support. So yeah, it's expensive. So another reason to not, not use it. Now, the question comes is, uh, should you take SARMs? Should you take SARMs? If you are going to be competing in a college sport or another sport or a drug tested bodybuilding federation or even powerlifting or powerlifting or yeah. Olympic lifting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, because you will pop hot for these things. They know how to test for them. Yep. They're gaining more popularity with WADA, the World Anti-Doping Association. Yep. Uh, one of the top rated CrossFitters in the world last year at the games got popped for taking one song. They, you will, you will pop hot. So if you're, you're recreational and you don't want to convert totally to the dark side and take anabolics or inject yourself, or inject yourself. <laughs> yeah. <that's>, you know. <laughs> You can think about it, but yeah. it's really, really expensive. Yep. 
basically injectable like basic cycle of test will cost you like 150 at max with like everything like all the support and you get guaranteed 10 times the gains but i'm definitely not recommending that if you think about ever getting on drugs definitely take steroids fuck some okay but if you decide to take it there's uh, some key points that we should mention what are some key points you would like to mention if you, someone decides to take songs? You have to take your health into consideration. You only have one body, and if you mess it up, it's messed up. Yep. So you need to keep your liver working, because if your liver's not up, you're not gonna digest food right, you're not gonna have the correct hunger, you won't metabolize the drugs as well, you're just gonna be totally messed up. So take a liver support, like Tudka, in acetylcysteine. Yeah. Live 52 by Himalaya is a good one. Like it's all around. It's one of the best. best. Yeah. Anti aromatase or aromatase inhibitors uh, because as much as they're touted to say they don't, aromatize. they don't, they do. People get gynecomastia and estrogen symptoms from them. So it is very important to have something to block that. Yep. And then the most important thing you need to have before you start is a PCT. Yep. Because you can't stay on these things forever. Yep. And even though you can recover naturally after taking them, it takes a long time and there you may not. Yep. There's a very good possibility you may never recover. Your testosterone levels will never come back to where they were and you'll be just depressed and not be able to have a boner. So, <laughs> yeah. for all you guys out there with girlfriends, <laughs> make sure you have a PCT. A uh, PCT consists of a SERM, which is not the same thing as a SARM. It's a selective estrogen receptor modulator, which would be like Nolvidex or Clomid or uh, Raloxifene. I think there's another one. Uh, or you could take uh, HCG. So. All these things make your endogenous, your natural testosterone, come back up. Uh, they help. They definitely help. Uh, they're very important. I cannot stress that enough. Yeah. If you don't do it, you're screwed. Yeah. And before starting, you should know that even if you do do a proper PCT, you have all the right pharmacy grade ancillaries to take, you may not recover. So. The cost of a cycle may be a couple hundred bucks, yeah. but the non on the surface cost may be, may never get your health back yeah. afterwards. Yeah. So there's also that to consider. Yeah. Getting blood work done before, during and after is also equally important because a lot of people will be like, oh, it doesn't, like it doesn't, it's not steroids, so you don't need blood work, but you definitely need to know your baseline, then how bad it is during the cycle, which I figured out. Because I didn't do that in my first cycle, it was a big mistake because once I got off, I all lost everything. And then the second one, I didn't make sure of that and I did a mild PCT, it took a long time for my natural test to come back up, but uh, it did. But yeah, that's that's all about SARMs. If you want us to make more videos about peptides or steroids, just drop a comment down below and we'll be back again with another chemical compound talk. Peace out. Yeah, let's go.